who is the one Yankee you'd bring back from the past just to be a, like a locker room glue guy? Can't even play, can't coach, just sits in the clubhouse, shooting the shit with the boys, getting the man up before a game, maybe tossing back a few brews, watching the game. I think it's Thurm the Worm. He's got the stash going, that's that's working for him. And obviously, you know, those teams with him won a lot. Of, won a lot so I got to disagree with Thurman the Worm. I think if, Thurm the, Thurman's, yeah. if Thurman Munson's not playing, everything he does falls short, and he's just kind of like an asshole in the clubhouse. Way too tough on guys. Yeah, yeah. I have an answer. Okay. That, you know, I racked my brain on it quickly. <laughs> Don Zimmer. Thought about that. I thought about that. Um, you did can't Zim play have, for the Yankees? I don't know. Did he, did he have to play for him? He suited up. I think they he, said ex-player. He suited up as a Yankee. You can't Let's bring see. back anyone that is still fit enough. You know, they got to be 60 plus. Those are the guys we're talking about. Like, you're not going to bring CC back as a mascot. Uh, there's a good argument for CC if someone wants to make it. And I still don't think Don Zimmer counts. I think the whole idea was player. Well, he Zimmer up. didn't play for the Yankees. Yeah, but he wore Yankee uniform, so. Whoa, when you search Don okay. Zimmer, the first thing that comes up is uh, my breakdown. SEO off the charts. Let's go. Look at that. Uh, Look at that ish. Um, yeah, I'm going to bend the rules and go Don Zimmer. Not allowed, so think of your answer. What, do you um, have one? I, see, I'm going the other way. Like, I... I'm going, you kind of need a young guy. Like, I'd want a Trevor Plouffe type. Like, I kind of want a young, fun guy keeping it light. Kind of, like, joking about how, like, he's washed and, you know, you guys are still doing it. Enjoy it. God, I'm trying to... Chi Ming Wong? I don't know if the language would be there. I think that even comes more fun. Just yuck it up. Like, Talkman is yelling about all of his at-bats. And Wong's just got no idea. He's like, stop, dude. We're <laughs> basically no, just describing it. Aaron Boone's job. Yeah. Right? We really are. I mean, he's just... Yeah. I mean, Aaron, Aaron Boone... A good one. Yeah, he's just... That's his job. Keep spirits light. Be a glue glue guy in the clubhouse. And be an ex... <laughs> Aaron Boone. We've described Aaron Boone. Willie Randolph. I mean... Yeah. Paul O'Neill probably be a good time. Which Paul O'Neill are you getting? Are you yeah. getting the Warrior or are you getting Yes Network Paul? Because I want Yes Network Paul. You got to get a self-deprecating guy who's not going to tell you how good it was in his day and how he'd kick your ass. You know? Right. So Stump Merrill. I'm going to go to a, the 2008 Yankee roster and choose someone from there. Okay. And that's, I mean, Pettit. About no. time. Pettit was too skilled. I mean, Luis Soho. Yeah, they already did that. for a, Like, he was a bench coach, yeah. third base coach for a while. Do it again. I mean, bring Soho back. That seems like an obvious thing. It's Luis Soho's current job. Isn't he still coaching for the Yankees? Giambi? Everyone said Giambi was going to make a great manager. Everyone loves Giambi. That's a, that's a good dark horse there. Matsui would be good, just giving everyone porn and talking about how good mm. his hair is all the time. Oh, Chad Moeller. Dude, you used to love Chad Moeller. I loved watching him catch. Yeah. Wow. So he was good at it. Mm-hmm. Check Jake's Twitter feed. It's just nonstop. I love Chad Moeller back in 2008. I used to always call him C. Mole. See that mole out there? You know who would be uh, bad? Latroy Hawkins. Yeah. Just stapling cleats to the floor nonstop. Yeah. Mainly being on the team specifically doesn't help that one. 